Hello everybody, I am Rue and welcome back to our little World of Warcraft series. Last time we took a look at Sylvanas Windrunners Undead Subjects, the Forsaken, and today I want to jump right in with another spooky race. Werewolves. Well, kind of werewolves. Let me introduce you to the Gilnean Worgen. To understand these furry creatures we have to go a little bit back in time. That's right. It's time for another history lesson. Don't worry, I will keep it short. At least I try to. Since we talked about Arthas Manateel and his campaign around Azeroth to destroy every living being, let's return to our favorite Pissed of Ice Cube. You see, while Arthas was successful in destroying Lordaeron, he wasn't as lucky with the neighboring kingdom of Gilneas. You see, Gilneas' king, Grand Greyman, was a smart fellow. After the second war, he decided to build a giant wall to protect his kingdom and keep the affairs of the outer world away from Gilneas. This worked out pretty well, until the sheer number of undead soldiers was too much for his barriers to handle. Greymane decided to employ his secret weapon to fight off the undead. He tasked his archmage Arugal to deploy the so-called Worgen. People transformed into wild, mindless beasts due to an ancient curse. This defense worked out pretty well, until some of these Worgen decided to turn on Gilneon soldiers, infecting them with the curse and effectively bringing the Worgen curse to Gilneas. Even though Gilneas is isolated from the rest of the world, more and more Worgen managed to escape the city and wreak havoc in Silverpine Forest and the Hillsbrot foothills. We now jump a few years forward to today. With the threat of wild Worgen in Silverpine Forest, Sylvanas Windrunner decided to eliminate the threat by invading Gilneas and claim the kingdom for the Horde. And that's where you, as a new player, come in. But wait, I forgot to give you a rundown of the classes and racial abilities, didn't I? So let's get that out of the way. Just like other ordinary humans, Worgen can choose between the Hunter, Mage, Priest, Rogue, Warlock and Warrior class. But hang on, there is one minor addition. Worgen also have the Druid class at their disposal. But what about their special abilities? Worgen are not only able to skin animals faster, they also get a permanent plus 15 bonus on the skinning profession. Other things include an increased critical strike bonus, the ability to change between your human and Worgen form and the ability to drop on all fours to increase your movement speed. I highly recommend this for players who don't want to spend their money on writing skills. Phew, seems like we finally got the backstory and technical stuff out of the way, so let's drop right into Gilneas and our next adventure. One thing I should mention though is, creating a Warren character can be frustrating for some players since you have to play through the introduction campaign in Gilneas before you can move on to other regions, so keep that in mind before you start playing. Uh, sorry, let's carry on. As you start your life as a citizen of Gilneas, you quickly learn that something's not right in the kingdom. Mysterious murders are happening and weird creatures are stalking the city. Just as you investigated one of those murders by the behest of Prince Liam Greymane, all hell breaks loose and a sheer endless number of Worgen are attacking the city. During a fight against those fellow creatures, you will not only support Prince Liam, but also meet King Grand Greymane himself. Some other notable characters are Lord Vincent Godfrey, he isn't that big of a fan of Worgen, the Royal Apothecary, Anas Cranon, and the Civil War criminal Darius Crowley. After helping Crowley surviving a Worgen attack, he instructs you to investigate a nearby safe house. As ill luck will have it, it is at this safe house that a rogue Worgen injures you, just so you can be saved by Crowley's daughter Lorna. Together with your newfound allies, you take the fight to the Worgen. But all seems lost as you are cornered into a cathedral and it doesn't get any better when yourself turn into a Worgen due to your previous injury. Now transformed into a worgen and cursed to roam Gilneas as a mindless beast, King Greyman and Arnas Cranon manage to capture you and administer a special potion. 
This special potion allows you to regain your senses and move on to more important business. And that's just in time, since if the war gone round enough, Sylvanas' troop are now invading Galneas. You will spend a good amount of time fighting the Forsaken and helping out the citizens of Gilneas. This will give you a chance to get used to your new Worgen form and its abilities. Things get a little bit more interesting as you reach the Black World. Here you meet a group of Night Elf Druids, giving you a little bit of backstory and hope of regaining your former self. They explain that the Worgen curse is caused by an ancient artifact, the Side of Illum, and that you have to recover said artifact before Sylvanas is able to grab it and use it as a weapon of mass destruction. All things said and done, the druids help you regain your former self and you are now free to switch between your human and worgen form. And look at that! Greyman and Crowley are worgen too! There's something I just have to mention. It's only now that the worgen of Gilneas are able to change back into the human form. Then how is it, while you're helping out Grandma Wall, that she is able to turn into a worgen and back into a human. This takes place way before the night elves even show up. Boy, I really hope somebody got fired for that blunder. We slowly approach the end of the story as we are looking for a kidnapped Greymane who got grabbed by Lord Godfrey and his co-conspirators Walden and Ashbury. Walden and Ashbury are easy pickings, but before you can deliver Godfrey to justice, he decides to jump to his death. You may not think this detail is important, but we will get back to it, trust me. And now, it's time for the final battle of Gineas. Everything seems great as you are able to drive back the enemy forces and giving Sylvanas herself a hard time. Just as you are about to deal the killing blow, the Dark Lady corners King Greymane ready to kill him. Just for Liam to jump in between and sacrificing himself. Now demoralized and outnumbered by Horde forces, all you can do is to enlist the help of the Night Elves. After a timid tank battle and blowing up a gunship, Gilneas is still lost to the Forsaken forces. All that's left now is to leave Gilneas with your new allies. Now making your new home in Danassus, you are finally free to embark on further adventures. You could stay in Kalimdor and start at the Darkshore, but if you want to travel to the Eastern Kingdom, I recommend you to take the Danassian portal to Root Charon Village and board the ship to Stormwind. And that's all I have on the Worgen for now. There is way more stuff going on during your time in Gilneas, but to keep this short and fair use, I won't talk about everything that happens in the game. As always, if you enjoyed what you just saw, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. If you feel especially generous, consider sharing this video or subscribing to the channel. Next time we will take a look at my second favorite horde race, the Honorable Orcs. This is Ru signing off, bye bye.